Hi guys, and for STEM today, what we're going to be doing is making a floating ball. So the supplies that you'll need out of your bag is aluminum foil, a white piece of paper, and a bendy straw. But when you get the straw out of your bag, make sure you take the bigger straw because there should be three straws total in your bag. Two of them are small and one of them is big. The big one is the one you're wanting because that's the bendy straw. <laughs> so then out of your home, what you need is tape, either a pen or pencil, and scissors. So what we're gonna start off by doing is taking your pen or pencil and your white sheet of paper. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is find something circle in your house. So I have this candle sitting here, and then I would just trace around the candle so you have a perfect circle. So I have already cut my circle out. So here's my circle and then once you've cut your circle off from that paper what you're going to want to do is cut a little slit in your circle so it should look like this make sure you don't cut all the way across them so then once you've cut your slit what you're going to want to do is kind of just cross each side over top of each other it doesn't matter what side goes on top and what side goes on bottom and it's kind of going to be a cone shape so this is my bottom side and this is top so i'm just going to kind of push them together to get it to match up and you can kind of see it looks like a cone. So then once you have the shape like this, you're going to want to tape it so it stays. I think I'm going to add two pieces just to make sure. Okay, so now you can see that my cone shape is just kind of standing there by itself. And then we're going to take our scissors, and at the bottom where the point is, we're going to cut a little opening. And in that opening, our straw is going to go in there. So don't make it too big or too small. So I'm just going to take it, and I have a little slit in mind, so I'm just going to cut it there and then kind of cut a circle around it. So here you can see that's my hole and then you're going to take the straw and then on the bendy part of the straw you're going to bend it up to where it would almost look like an L if it was flipped over. So on the part where it's bendy that's where you're going to want to put it like that and then we're going to tape this onto the cone. So I'm just going to put like half the tape on the straw and then half the tape on the cone. Okay, so what you should see is like at the bottom of your cone, you should see just barely a little bit of your straw peeking out. And then you want to make sure it stays on, which I taped mine so it does. So then what you're going to want to do next is take your aluminum foil and you can cut it in half if you want, which I'm going to. And then this part is super easy. All you're going to do is just make it into a ball. So just a little ball. So just crumble it up and just kind of squeeze it until it's super duper small. your mind you can either make it bigger or smaller but whatever size your cone is you need to make sure that the ball will fit in there so like I couldn't have used all mine because it would have been too big so just be cautious to that when you're using the aluminum foil so then what you're going to want to do is this is where like the stem part comes in so you're going to see how how long you can blow into this straw and like keep the ball balanced up so like when you blow in the aluminum foil is super light so so just kind of blow around and then if you blow softer 
you don't get as much movement so you can just kind of play around with that and see how it works in different ways so i hope you guys like this activity and i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow <laughs>